The direction that we see things going is entirely on mobile. My 12-year-old watches uh, probably the vast preponderance of, quote, television on her mobile phone. When people say, oh, mobile, you can't monetize it because, because no one is spending time on it, I strongly disagree. Anywhere, everywhere, and always. That's the promise of mobile video. Quite simply, it's anything you watch on a smartphone or a tablet. But the implications are enormous. More eyeballs on more videos means more opportunity for media companies to sell ads. But your smartphone's smaller screen means less room for those ads. It also means the videos themselves are changing. This video is horizontal, but Snapchat's promoting vertical. Storytellers are thinking about how to make things pocket-sized and short enough to be viewed on the fly. The new medium is mobile, and this little screen is going to be big. When it comes to online video, nothing competes with YouTube. There's 300 hours of video uploaded to the site every minute. But being big makes it harder to change. And right now, the biggest name in online video has its sights set on the smallest screen. I can only make so many cakes in a day, but I can make that cake and I can put it out on YouTube and its reach is endless. Elise Strawn is a YouTube creator. Over the past four years, her baking videos have earned her over two million subscribers. And like the rest of YouTube, half of her views come from mobile screens. You're in these people's bedrooms, you know, you're on the train with them, you're at school when they're probably not supposed to be looking at their phones, but <laughs> you were going everywhere with them. That kind of intimacy with viewers is something new for media makers, and it could pay off big time. Mobile revenue for YouTube is up 100% year over year, and global business head Robert Kinsel doesn't see it slowing down. Mobile will drive most business, uh, especially in advertising. Mobile consumption has been incredible, and it's growing twice the rate of anything else. And so you mean desktop is growing at one pace, and mobile's growing twice yeah, as fast? Twice yeah. as fast, twice yeah. As fast. It's not just that mobile is outpacing desktop. Kinsel says mobile will replace it. Mobile will matter. It will be the discovery device, it will be the transmission device. The first it be, screen. It will be the first screen. That's exactly right. But right now, companies make a lot more money through other screens. That buzziest of industry buzzwords, monetization, is still a struggle on mobile. That's one of the reasons why YouTube just launched a subscription option for $10 a month. But for now, with $4 billion in total revenue last year, YouTube is just breaking even. Think about the infrastructure that it takes to ingest the videos, store the videos, and then, on the other hand, broadcast them out and have huge amounts of people all around the world see them. It's a tremendous amount of uh, machine and infrastructure. So why the investment in international growth? It's because more and more people in the developing world are getting their first smartphones. The next few billion people that will come online, you will likely be able to afford a phone connection and a phone. It's like your window to the world. You know, I grew up in, in Czechoslovakia, and if I can, like, I imagine what it would be like growing up over there having YouTube. It would be amazing. Who wins in this mobile, uh, digital world? I think people who innovate the fastest. Somehow online video now has become part of every person's life every single day. And we need to make sure that, uh, that we keep up with the growth.